<gasps> I brought him back. He, he killed the others. What? No, I didn't. You can't. This is the craziest thing I've seen. In, <laughs> in the year 2022, a young man named Angel binged a show called House of the Dragon over the course of a week. Later, he joined his friends for the finale in a pub of no particular note or importance. But it was only revealed afterwards that the young man had never seen nor been spoiled of the original series Game of Thrones. Now, watch and relive the series from Angel's truly unique perspective as the Watchers in the Bar present. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop. We are over here at Costa Tanktop. I'm hanging out with Angel. What's going on, Angel? Not too much. Just living life, loving it. You're living, <laughs> laughing, loving over And you're laughing. There you go. We're like, absolutely. You're doing all the L's over here. Um, uh, we're doing that. Um, that is a that is a great attitude to come into this fucking, <laughs> to come into this world with. And the world that we are in is in Westeros. We are uh, watching Game of Thrones. We are this motherfucker it has not been spoiled or knows nothing about nothing in regards to the original series we just got done with a pretty like one of the crazier like endings of an episode that this show's done as far as just kind of like a really random kind of act of violence but it means big things for a main character jamie got his fucking hand clean off off <laughs> And it's sad because it's just like as soon as he was doing stuff where I was like, oh, he's redeeming his character. They're like, yeah, now we're going to punish you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that that is also his that is his sword hand. It's a strong hand. Yeah, right. So he's going to have to learn. Why would you, you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? So this is like something that is very, very like rocking to the core of like who this character is he's about to have so many meltdowns i mean yeah i mean and also i mean like take aside like all the you know character stuff about you know how he defines himself as a person you also just got your fucking hand cut <laughs> off in like a medieval like type thing where it's like not a lot of fucking there's not a lot of ointment like you yeah. know around these places like like what that, that thing could get infected and you could die or no problem not, like, gonna bleed out or right but it's not like um, Star Wars. You get your arm cut off with the lightsaber. It's already like immediately cauter immediate yeah, cauterization or whatever. <laughs> they're they're storming the wall. Yeah, they decide. Yeah, he goes like, "What did he say? I'm gonna set off the fire that brought the biggest fire the north has ever seen, or whatever the fuck he says." Yeah, but like, I kind of I'm stoked to see that. Yeah, they're just like, "Go climb it." Yeah, right. Just cool. go repel this thing. <laughs> it's like fucking 150. You know, like probably probably two. 250 feet at least, like 25 stories high or something. It seems that way. It's the Brotherhood up too. Brotherhood, I mean, they they got they got two pretty fucking high value targets. Like they got a Clegane and they have a Stark. Like I like, I think I think it's like you like the idea of the Brotherhood without banners because they want to like protect, like supposedly kind of trying to protect the the populace or like an insurgent force. And so we kind of don't really know exactly what they want to do. Oh my like god, that. she's trying to get rid of a dragon. Well, that's the that's that's what she says. I mean, like the I mean, like the or or is willing to part with one. I mean, I don't know. Like maybe give him like the one run of the litter or something. Her baby. No, I know, right? No, I know. No, that's why I think I think they're gonna try to figure out. I, we gotta just kind of see a little bit more. And also, like that one guy is just like mad disrespectful too. Yeah. Also, and before we would think, we know that this is the episode we're gonna do. We're gonna do earmuffs. We're gonna avoid hot D spoilers. So what I think the the move is. When I say earmuffs, you just take them off like that and go like this and keep your eyes closed. Scott's honor, you'll do it? Scott's honor. <laughs> Fuck yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so, um, but we just want to tell you guys, if you guys are having a good time with these here uh, rewatches and you guys want to get early and uncut access to the next episode of our hot D fan watches Game of Thrones for the very first time and you guys want to see that before anybody else does, you can do that by becoming a part of the Patreon. Links in the top pinned comment or the description below. You click that, you head on over to the premium streaming tier for eight bucks and that gets you full and uncut access. Every week you get an up, you get an updated link to the next week's episode before anybody else gets to see it a week ahead of the, the YT edits. Oh.
tell me if your precious Randy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women and children burned alive, would you have done it? Would you have kept your oath then? Damn. We hope you guys consider doing that, but if you can't do that, you still want to help us out. You can hit us with a like and a subscribe. Ring that bell thingy over there because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. Appreciate you all for hanging out with us. They have it on a string over his shoulder. I forgot about that. How many of those fingers do you think we could shove up his ass? Depends if he's had any practice. Try it. That's the sort of thing you and your sister go in for, King Slayer. She loosened you up for us. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody knows now. Yeah. He's going to fall off his horse. Someone help him. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's, he's not having a good time. Oh, my oh. God. I mean, like, loss of blood, in potential infection. Falling into that. Yeah, like whatever pig shit it is that we're fucking. <laughs> oh my god. I can't say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh shit. He's gonna try for it. Stop! She's taking them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, and like a couple of broken ribs on top of that, man. Like, ugh. And he has to travel covered in mud. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again, and I'll take your other hand. I believe him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's as far as, as far as, um, Walking the hand cutting walk, he's done it. You know what I mean? Like, I hope we might speak in confidence. Always in confidence. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I need proof. Proof. I have no proof, only whispers. Whispers. I love when people say whispers. <laughs> only whispers. <laughs> no. I was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. You want to hear it still? Yes. Oh my God. They stopped that a while ago. I know, right? I traveled with a troop of actors through the free cities. Oh, him, a vampy little actor? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> dude. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in a brazier. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. That's traumatizing. <laughs> yeah. I dream of the voice from the flames. Was it a god, a demon, a conjurer's trick? That's why he was so worried about Stannis, like in the Red Woman. But you can see why I was eager to aid in your fight against Stannis and his red priestess. A symbolic revenge. <clears throat> I feel the need for actual revenge <laughs> against actual person. That the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Step by step. One distasteful task after another. Look at that. Oh, for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the way across to the far side of the world, where I managed to wrap them around something very special. Sorcerer. Hello, my old friend. It's been a long time. This is sad. <laughs> will be yours in time. If you have the stomach for it. Oh, he's a dark, twisted little fuck. I love him. It's, it's, there's a really dark, crazy little side to him that you kind of, that they illuminate here that was not apparent before. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought he was just a gossip. He's just Yeah, badass. no, he's like... Really is most of it. I'm getting attacked. Okay. Oh. They're back at the Craster's Keep. <sighs> she had a boy. Uh-huh. So he's in your protector now. Our good friend Craster. We're like the sons he never had. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. We'll have to look out for ourselves. Uh-oh. 
just coming up with a plan. Like a mutiny or something <laughs> like that. That's beautiful. She's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, or something, right? Good man. I said to hold it for you until you came back. You're back at ten. That's beautiful. I don't want your stupid symbol. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? I don't have time for anyone but him because he doesn't have much time. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Like every time it happens, you gotta be like, wait, running on legs, <laughs> dream. dream. Okay, cool, right on. I know I've said this, but he's so much older than he was. It's, when he started. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But they're like in the dream together, though. Brandon? How many times have I told you? No climbing. I thought I need to find it. It's here. It's Promise calling. me. No more climbing. Promise me. Promise me. Promise me. Promise me. They're like going into like the Matrix together and shit like that. Or so, you know what I mean? Like they're getting plugged in or something, you know? No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was... Extraordinary. <laughs> Most extraordinary man they've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I like how she's also like no larger than like you. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So what did they say? They said it was hard to describe. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaving for the Erie soon. Ah, uh, yes, to pursue his enduring love of the Lady Aaron. Oh, the crazy breastfeeding lady. Is that all yeah. it took? His shipboard inventory. <laughs> he so looks excited. so excited. He's yeah. having a great week, right? You know what I mean? Like, I got the guy who cut my fucking dick and balls off. I'm getting some tea over um, here. Like, he's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. Okay, earmuffs. Who is important enough to little yeah. to merit? We got it, guys. Thank you <laughs> for everybody who warned us. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> a few moments later. Seven hundred comfortably. There appears to be a good deal of the moms are figuring out the fucking wedding. Like, it'll seat about 700, you know? Oh, yeah. He thought drinking wildfire would turn him into a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to see where the last Targaryens are buried? Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? It's like taking a walk through history. <laughs> He's such a little shit. <laughs> Well, because he thinks that she's playing up this whole thing like I'm fascinated with death as you yeah. are and shit. You know what I mean? Like we mothers do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. We shower them with good sense, and it slides right off like rain off a wing. Good line. She's so right. Great line, man. Sometimes severity is the price we pay for greatness. I couldn't agree more. Him. <laughs> She's so they good at what she fiddle. does. If you give them your love, they will return it a thousandfold. Look at her. I know how they feel about you. You led the defense of King's Land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, dude. Open the doors. I love her. I, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, like it's one of those things where it's like, it's like under her manipulation, could Joffrey like not be? Wait. As big of a fucking crazy person. Like, they've all been trying to control him in the wrong ways, and she's like, you guys have been so dumb. Like, yeah. This is easy. <laughs> ooh, it's kind of like that one scene in Hot D where he's, like, lifting the sword up. because like, ooh, <laughs> crowd's like digging me. I think I can get down <laughs> with this shit, you know? Like, he said my father knew what they were doing to me. Did he? I, I don't know, my lord. Maybe Why you're feeling, maybe you're feeling a tinge of regret, <laughs> motherfuck. Maybe just a titch. I could never be a Stark. Rob Stark always reminded me of that. How? Didn't have to. All he had to do was. Yeah, he didn't even do anything. It was your own insecurity, he dog. To, his life fitting better than his clothes. Could someone like that it would be a bloody to me? Insecurities. Right. His life fit him better than his clothes. There's so many good lines <laughs> in, this, in this fucking episode, dude. Like, murdered those boys. Just some poor orphans living with a farmer. I let Dagma slit their throats. And I let him burn the bodies. So 
so I could keep Winterfell. It also just occurred to me that, yeah. like, because I was so relieved that they, like, lived, that, that, that there's, I like, that there is that actual, was, like, children. Well, no, and we saw them, it. too. We saw Bran go, okay, well, I mean, we got these two orphans. Maybe, maybe could, could you go live with this one? Like, he, like, set up that deal. Like, so we've, we've seen them before and shit. It's fucking tough, man. Like, my real father lost his head at King's Landing. I made a choice. Wow. I just got chills so right there. Wrong. There it is. She's up here. My real father lost his head in, in, in King's Landing. That is crazy. What? <gasps> I brought him back. He, he killed the others. What? No, I didn't. You can't. This is the craziest thing I've seen in this. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god <laughs> after he just gave like penance to and everything like <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord it's did such it, a gut punch when it happened see that come in oh my lord although i will say I didn't say I didn't trust him. Yeah, right. To be fair, I don't trust anybody. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to keep it like. Uh. Also, the putting the the hand over on your chest to just like remind you of it, like the psychological angle of that, is so fucked. You have a taste, one taste of the real world, <laughs> True. where people have important things taken from them, and you whine and cry and quit. You sound like a bloody woman. <laughs> I mean, because she's like, this has been my life. I mean, like, every single thing that was easily afforded to you, like, I only just maybe got there, like, a couple weeks ago, like, when he, I got Kingsguard status. Why did you help me? Does he know? I mean, like, you know. If you wanted to speak to me. Yes, about Jamie. I wanted to make sure we're doing everything we can to get him back. What do you think I'm doing for my eldest son and heir? Whatever you can. Whatever I can. One of these days I want to write a letter like that, do the fucking wax thing, yeah. press the thing down. Like, I don't know how or when or why I would do it, but I gotta. I want to do that. Did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust? Not your sons. Did it ever occur to you that your daughter might be the only one listening to them, living by them, that she might have the most to contribute to your legacy? That you love so much more than your act. All right. Contribute. <laughs> Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. You've allowed that boy to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. It's a, it's a fact. Like he's Don't spitting be mad bars. That she's like doing it better than you. Yes. You should try stopping him from doing what he likes. I will. Damn, <laughs> dude. Tyr like Tywin is like you hate him. He's a bastard, but he is the shit. You know what I mean? Like he's so sick. Growing strong. The dullest words of any house. <laughs> Winter is coming. Oh, that's memorable. <laughs> we do not so <laughs> winter is coming. Oh, that, it's not like one of the first like winter is coming that wasn't said by like a Stark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But look, little loves. A spider in the garden. Real strong. Diana Rigg is so great in this role. She's fucking fantastic. She just. She just I passed like a couple of years back. Well. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? <laughs> you here to seduce me? A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. <laughs> Seduce away. <laughs> no, I rather, why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> she you surrender rather easily. Walk with me. Garden walk walks, here. motherfucker. Garden walk. <laughs> That's why I was so relieved in Hot D in those, in those earlier episodes when they were doing some of those. I was just like, 
<laughs> that's it! That's it! Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. If Robb Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the North. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. Why should a man with such a low reputation steal away such a lovely bride? You must despise him, you will. <laughs> Actually, I rather... I believe I have a possible solution. Who's Sansa gonna marry? Um, Marjorie's brother? The gay one? Possibly, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't mean to disturb you. You haven't. Oh, she's like praying. Like, is, I wonder if that's a godhood that was cut down or something like that. She's like praying at the stump or something. What did you pray for? I can't tell you. Why not? I'll tell you what I prayed for in the set this morning. I, I, I prayed for your future husband to be <laughs> murdered. Like, so I prayed that she'd catch a horrible skin disease. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Porridge plague? Your skin starts to look like boiled oats, and eventually your face lights off and you die in agony. But that's awful. <laughs> You're... She's fucking with her. <laughs> you. You'll be married here in the capital, and she'll have to come watch and pretend to be happy that you're queen. <laughs> she is, like, letting loose. It's weird to see her speak like this friends. to somebody. I don't think the queen would let me leave King's Landing. Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be queen. And if you were to marry Loras, we would be sisters, you and I. Would you like that? <sighs> I just want this to be pure and good. Oh, look at her. She looks so happy <laughs> and relieved. He kept his vows the best he could. He rode far. Oh, fierce. Shit, also, the, even though the thing is like you're burning the body, you gotta smell the burning flesh yeah. like while you're eulogizing it. <laughs> Fuck that no, shit, dude. Like, now his watch has ended. The day we leave, cross the road, tap a barrel of our wine, and sit down to a feast of hammer potatoes and laugh at us. He's a bloody wildling's all he is. Never knew Bannon could smell so good. <laughs> but maybe they're maybe they're down for a little barbecue You're over so there. Hungry. Oh my lord! They're as strong as they're gonna get. Then that's dying. When you cut their throats to be done with it. Whose throat are you gonna cut, old oh, man? My wives give you bread, the sawdust in the bread. Well, you don't like it. You go out there and eat the snow. Oh, he's pushing it. Yeah, man. I'd rather eat. You've got hidden away. This fucking like young Willem Dafoe looking motherfucker. Yeah, right he here. looks so familiar. Doesn't he look like Willem Dafoe? I mean, he's been in a bunch of movies. He, he got a bunch of parts after this. I am a godly man. You stingy bastard! Bastard! Hey! Shut the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. Tell me how they're not leaving. You are a bastard. A daughter fucking wildling bastard. <laughs> yes. Oh shit! Oh! That was very hard to food, or you'll get the same as he did. On hand, uh, I shall have your head. Oh. No! Oh my god, straight up mutiny. Holy shit. Ooh! He's still strong enough to fucking take him. Oh shit. And he's just choking him out. Yeah. Get that baby. Sam's gonna. Ooh. Oh, I finally got him. Get stabbed in the lung or something. Oh, damn. Lord Commander. Uh. Oh. He's already dead. <laughs> Go, go. Shit is starting to fucking pop the fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I'll be cutting your throat one of these nights. Oh, he's lost it. Yeah, dude. You think carrying a crooked spear makes you a soldier? No. Fighting in a war makes you a soldier. This was a guy who Dead Stark sent 
to go find his brother. Robert was out fighting and he was sitting on the throne. He goes like, go hunt down the fucking Clegane and everything like that. This is this guy. You'll die soon enough, dog, but it won't be murder. Only justice. So he's about he's about the fucking Lions, the shit like the red the red the woman shit like the one seven years. Like the fire god or whatever the fuck Lord of Light. But don't call me murderer and pretend that you're not. You murdered Micah, the butcher's boy, my friend. You stand accused of murder, so it is not for us to judge you. Only the Lord of Light may do that now. Oh God. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> trial by combat. He's like, yeah, I'll take it. Who will it be? Or is the little girl the bravest one here? Send her ass in. Captain Ari. Right. <laughs> yes. There we go. The master says they are untested. This guy reminds me of like Andrew Tate. He says you would be wise. <laughs> he does look like a fucking. He also talks like Andrew Tate does too. Absolutely. Wait. <laughs> The Andrew Tate of Westeros. The Andrew Tate of Westeros, absolutely. Yeah, he's hanging out and fucking like. You hold the whip. Yeah, <laughs> it's Andrew Tate vibes for sure. <laughs> All right, command them to murder him. She speaks Valyrian too. The whole time. Zadrizes Buzdaris Gos Daur Valeria Munio Engos Nuhis Isa. Damn Axios and Das, Mentios and Das, Giloni Pilos Lue Valley. They're like, oh shit, we're doing this? Like, Dracaris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy shot, right? <laughs> it's one of those things like, well, you could have told me, Khaleesi. <laughs> they, they looked like they didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. They probably would have, like, invite, maybe told her not to do that, but she just went for it. He did look a little turned on, though. He oh, was like, I mean, I think everybody's crazy. a little turned on by this. Fucking look at the shot. They look a little uneasy. Even now, they're like, damn. Look at her fucking army. She <laughs> did this. Yeah. And she freed everybody. Mm. <laughs> yeah, white savior that shit. <laughs> <laughs> White savior in there. Woo! Woo! <laughs> no, but this is this is sick. Like this is cool as fuck. Like obviously, she's got an army and her dragons. This motherfucker's getting bigger all the time, man. <laughs> Dude, you just have he's like. <laughs> like that's I mean how you feeling this was such a good episode it was good man I mean it was it was busy dude like it was like a lot happened I'm obsessed this might be one of my favorites yeah yeah and there was a bunch of shit that I had kind of almost forgotten about I mean like a bunch of really great like kind of subtle scenes and a bunch of crazy like just fuck off like I mean that one's obviously nuts you yeah know? I mean like that one's, that one's crazy yeah like I got I got chills watching it again it was really really sick and then there's like the wildling like fucking mutiny and shit that's going on like that was fucking nuts well eventually they're just like what else are we gonna do <laughs> like yeah i'm like signed on to like protect the wall and you know like, <laughs> i'm gonna do all this shit but like how much bullshit do i have to endure until you guys treat me like a person as well i don't know i don't I'm not. Oh no 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 no! I, I mutiny. No no, I understand why the mutiny happened, and fuck fucking Craster, yeah. obviously. Like that's not a problem. Like that that's that is a uncontroversial uncon take. Like, <laughs> I'm like sorry <laughs> guys, I didn't. It's Sean Tank Top. You know what I mean? But like, they just took it too far. What do the women have to do with it? What do the women have to do with you guys not being fed? 
that's that that's the angle. Like I think that's the angle. Like especially like these guys who are also a bunch of them. I mean, like they even said like I think what Terry even said like what was like thieves. You know, like you know, miscreants, rapers. You know, like or whatever it is. So it's like these some of these motherfuckers are like not good dudes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like <laughs> like all, like our crew that we kick it with, like Gren and. You know, and Ed and fucking and John and Sam and everybody like they're like they're rock solid. Like they're they're who you want on the wall. But then there's like, I guess it's just like the prospect of these other guys taking over, and then I don't know, like what, like what are they gonna? I mean, like I don't know, whatever. Men are horrible. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah. So it's like like I, you can understand why it's like fuck Craster and all your and all your bullshit, obviously. But I think it's just like it's still. Yeah, it's like a, they ruined the truce and they fucking killed Lord Commander Mormont. Like that's no fucking good. Jor Jor's dad. Uh, it was very satisfying to watch Sansa like put her guard down. No, very nice. I will say, I'm I'm like I'm so tired of worrying about her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I want, I want this to be like the the new plan, and I'm like, yeah, like that's sick. But at the same time, it's still a plan, and she's still being manipulated. Like I just want her to have control of her own life and not just be like, well, right. whoever like wins. You, like you feel like this is like could because of that garden walk. You're like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you really, I don't. It's it's a but it is the thing with with Marjorie where it's like I don't necessarily think that all of her niceties are a facade. Fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, she is like, just like, playing the game. Like, but but she's like, oh, like we need to do that. Okay, cool, I got you. I mean, like you know, and I think that she, I think that there is a prospect where it's like, just how it works out. She's like, yeah, have her like you know, like her marrying Loras. That could be totally sick. So you know what I mean? Be sisters. That, that was like, so cute. It was fucking cute. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and it was even like though even though we family. even though I Sansa loves Arya and stuff like that. You know that they all do. Like, but. But it was like that was probably the sister that she always wanted, yeah. In a certain sense, you know what I mean. Like a very this is a high boy, this is a lady, you know what I mean type type of thing. And so, um, and maybe Sansa will learn from her. Oh yeah, I mean like I mean that's yeah that's a, yeah that's a big thing. I mean like just her. I mean she already knows how to fucking kind of play the game and kind of manipulate Joffrey in a weird way, but it's from like a where it's like. Marjorie's topping from the bottom. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's kind of like, maybe this could be... So like, she always has to come from an underling's perspective to kind of manipulate. Like, she kind of did it a little bit in season two. She's like, it'd be bad luck to kill a man on your name day. You know, like, whatever. You know, like, shit like that. Like, yeah. she, she kind of knows how to do it. She's but, doing it for survival. Yeah, whereas, and, like, whereas, like, Marjorie's doing it, like, like, taking control. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, like, also that, 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 I love that scene with, um, with Tywin and Cersei. Yeah. Where, I mean, that shit was so... You're not as smart as you think you are. I was like, yeah. I don't think, I, I think that that's dead, I think he's got it dead to rights. I think that she, yeah, I mean, I think that she is, there is, she's still, like, she's still, I think her and, her and Jamie, like, they're both pretty fucking... They're both pretty, like, you know, like, entitled. Not, what's that? Entitled. Like, they in like, like, entitled and kind of, want. yes, exactly. And sort of, like, encased in privilege and shit like that. And that, like, that makes you very fucking naive and very kind of, like, dumb. Like, yeah. in, in, in a lot of ways. Or it can, you know. Oh, my God. Um, mm. What, Theon? That was so Whoa. crazy. I felt like that was, like, the... The cliffhanger at the end of an episode because it was so wild. That but it was right in the middle. It but was, it, yeah, it was yeah. so soon. It just threw me. I was like, wait, that was fucked up. That was a very deep gasp on your part. <laughs> <They're> like you're <laughs> like the <gasps> gayest. Like, <laughs> exit in my body. I mean, it was like yeah. I mean, it was like it. It mostly and because it was, it's really well constructed because they predicate it on this very. It's cathartic for us to hear him say it. Yeah. Like, for, for him to say that he's wrong, for him to call Ned his dad, you know, for him to kind of really atone, like, in, in a way. And then, you still got punishment in store, buddy. Yeah. And that is, I mean, and that is true. Even though, like, you can, you can, um, you can kind of make mistakes and screw up. 
but the the repercussions aren't done until they're done even if you are you know what i mean and this is and that is and so he's right back up on the fucking on the on, on the slab and shit and it's it, it is it's like you know you're like ugh, like and then jamie who he's in there's a lot of people like at their like kind of at their lowest yeah. point you know what i mean like there's definitely a, a bunch of people that are sort of they feel that things couldn't possibly get worse for them right now and shit i like this I, that scene with him and, and brianne was great yeah she's like you wouldn't cry like, like she's like you're <laughs> fucking pussy like, asshole like, congratulations welcome to the real world like this is the first time that bringing up your father doesn't get you out of trouble and like everybody else doesn't even have those extra times that you got out of it yeah like this of is course. what happens to everybody else how like, many how many times I mean, and also how many times were you the person that was visiting some kind of mayhem like this on somebody else that you thought was lesser than you yeah the mud like the stump in the mud, the hand over the hand necklace, <laughs> the hand necklace. Like, what the fuck are we I'm talking gonna get about? One of those, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna give me one of those. That'd be actually a pretty like I'm I'm shit covered post hand job <laughs> Jamie as a cosplay or whatever yeah. it was. Like that'd be pretty that'd be pretty wild. And I did I did, I did like that moment. It's like why did you help me? And he doesn't answer. It's like he's like, am I becoming? Is this feelings? feelings? Like, is this <laughs> respect for somebody else that because of who they are and what they stand for and shit? Because you know, I think that he does respect her. Yeah. You know, in a way. He wouldn't have... He wouldn't have tried... He wouldn't have saved her if he did. He wouldn't have given a fuck. Like, like the Jamie in season one would not have given a single solitary fuck. Well, I'm a little nervous that now he's going to resent her for it and then, like, mm. pull it. They were getting so close, and now I feel like it's going to be set back a little bit. Because he's like, if I hadn't stepped in for you, I'd still have my hand. And or or just or just like just getting like delivered back to like where he's supposed to be and shit like that. Like all of a sudden now he can like, oh well, I got my you know like I'm I'm surrounded by bannermen like and shit like that. You know I don't have a hand, but I remember who you know I remember who I am and who you are and shit. You know like. Maybe. We're doing a trial by combat with the Hound? Uh, what a weird thing to make him do. I'm like, this is literally what he's known for. We did like, he's, yeah. I saw right, him right. chop a horse's head off. No, 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 that like, was his brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, That was his brother. That was his well, brother. The hound but no, 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 no. But we've seen the Hound. Remember when he, remember those guys that were attacking Sansa and he just eviscerated <laughs> those guys? Like, he's, he's, I mean, they're both like... I think obviously his the mountain is worse, but like he is also not that much better. Like yeah. like he's he's a pretty tough dude, and so an eye patch is gonna take him out. I don't know if they got the, this Lord of Light thing. The Lord of Light is scaring me. You're not into it. Um, I've just seen some things that he can do, and it's, yeah, it's they're homophobic great. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, homophobic they are. as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't like 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 the most direct magical kill was it like one of our only queer characters <laughs> fuck that shit dude like you know what i mean like <laughs> damn <laughs> we do not stand <laughs> we do not stand a lord of light smoke baby like you know and any of the shit which i and again like and then the shit that fucking that scene that was another crazy scene with uh with varus with the with, like when he's got the box the box he's got crazy. a guy in a box he's wild for that um <laughs> <laughs> you think so like, um good for him though i mean you could like it, it was one of the it's like this whole thing like because i remember like you first watched that scene you're like watching him do something you're not really thinking anything of it and then that scene where they start to play the music and he, you can see his reflection he's kind of backlit and he was like and then I did whatever the fuck I had to do. Like, it's like you can kind of see him. He's almost like reliving, like, all of the shit that he had to go through in order to get to where he is now. And it's just, like, it's a great performance. It was it's honestly, cool. and they shot it like it was, like, horror. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, a, it, was a, it was like, this is, there's also some dark, like, we've been profiling how we are all well aware of like how nefarious Littlefinger is, like that spy master, you know what I mean? But this guy, there's also like a dark ass edge to this motherfucker too. Like something crazy like that and that darkness is what gives him that drive. Yeah. To do the to, And to, also to be able to get like this sorcerer, which I'm sure is 
powerful if he was able to do all this shit in the past. Or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Like, whatever he had to do to get it, he's haunted. Yeah, and so, I don't know. Yeah, like, <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do with that guy? I just keep him as a little pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> if I had something like that, I'd just be like, you know. Oh, it's like the, like the weird, like, gimp guy in Pulp Fiction yeah. just, like, in the box, like, you know, and you're just like, oh, you're just here. Like, do you have a job? Like, what's going? What's ha- what, who are you? Like, what's going on? Like, yeah. I don't know anything else that stood, stood out that you're like. They huh? got everybody except Rob with two Bs. They yeah. I think we got a ton of Rob with. We got a lot of Rob with two Bs last uh, episode. Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran got a little stuff. He's seeing stuff. They're going He's in navigating now. They're He's going into like a, a. They can both go into a dream state together, which is kind of romantic. Which I is crazy, it. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, the little Georgian Reed. He's a little twink. Do you think they're lovers? <laughs> who knows? Do you guys think I mean, they're lovers? Who knows? I mean, like, the... Um... If I dreamed with somebody, I think it'd be over. I'd be like, we have to get married. Yeah, right. I mean, like, and also... But, like, what if you're fucking, and then you can go into the Matrix together? Even better. That's kind of crazy, right? Like, or, like, that Avatar shit. Remember when, like, they connect to each other? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, ooh. Like, like, there's something, like, I don't know. There's something really creepy about it, but it's also, like, you understand, like, Obviously, there's a t- intimacy there and shit. Um, I don't know. It, 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 certainly, at this point, he's just like, oh, like, you clearly, there's something. And it, and the whole, like, the other thing that we know about that other guy uh, with the, the wilding dude, the warging thing. Warging into animals and into stuff and everything. And also, we got, like, all of those brand, like, um, uh, like wolf, like, kind of POV shots and shit, so it's like, is he trying to teach him how to do that, or to see he should do it a little quicker. Future, or something? What's that? He should, he should do that. Like, <laughs> 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 like, you're just, like, <laughs> working into, like, animals, it's like, get fucking to it, get the molasses out your asses, and get that shit going. Um, the, <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, like, it, I mean, that's an interesting... That's a very interesting element to this one, too. Like, could like, you imagine if you could do that, and then if you're, like, paralyzed, you can create a little harness underneath your dire wolf, and mm. then, like, go to sleep underneath it, and then control the dire wolf, and then yes. you're walking with it? Yes. That's sick. Somebody somebody put me on the writer's block. Right, right, right. Give me over, give me over here. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of... I mean, no, yeah, that'd be so sick. Or, like, like, can you work into multiple creatures? Like, could he, like, summon, like... All of the like all of the creatures of the forest or something like rats. that or whatever. What's that? Rats. A bunch of rats. Oh, rats. Let's get a bunch of rats. Let's make a rat shaped got like have a bunch of rats get together like that part in Bram Stoker's Dracula where he's just like a rat shaped guy or whatever and you're just like just a big rat dude <laughs> running around like made it just made of rats that would yeah let's, let's I'd love it yeah so I don't know I'm, I'm stoked to watch the next episode I don't know about, how about you. I'm always ready. Always ready over there. Always ready to report for duty for, for the next one. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch episode five. And if you guys want to watch episode five with us and see our reactions to the next episode, and you guys want to see it right now, if you're watching it on YT and you don't want to wait the week that it's going to take for us to put this thing together, shout out to Kenjuin over there doing a great job putting these putting these edits together. Um, but if you guys want to get a load of all of that stuff and you guys want to get it before anybody else is, if we get a week early, you guys can do that by becoming a part of our Patreon. The best way to support the channel is clicking the links in the top pinned comment of the description below it takes you over to our patron you pony up eight bucks in the premium streaming tier and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our game of thrones coverage including the next episode um completely full and uncut so we hope you guys consider doing that but if you can't do that you still want to help us out hit us with a like and a subscribe ring the bell thingy because that shit always helps it never fucking hurts appreciate you guys for hanging out with us and we'll check you all later